Oh yeah, there we go. <sighs> kind of like the song. I think that song enjoyed a lot of popularity in the early nineties in England. All right. Because in the early nineties there was a craze for line dancing. Oh, God, it just yeah. took off, and people up and down like bingo halls and clubs and things up and down the country would just be like. So it's not really even dancing. It's more like just walking in step, isn't it? And kicking your leg out now and again. There's not much of a dance to it. Instead of a it's one more like synchronized walking, basically. Synchronized. It's, it's aerobics. Yeah. Well, like low five. Low, low, low aerobics. Low aerobics. There's not a lot going on there. There's not a lot of energy being expunged. I think. And he was like a bit of a poster child. I felt. For well, yeah, he, he had the Muller, and again, that was the nineties thing, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And also the sort of. The little boy, mm. you know, kind of persona, besides this hunky kind of dude. I, I read a great thesis, if if you could have a thesis on the mullet. <clears throat> but um, I think I had a book about it uh, at one point. And, and basically, somebody said, why the mullet is the, is the archetypal haircut for the action hero. Oh, I see. Right. And the thing is, it combines the dependable ruggedness of the short crop right with the maverick nature of long hair of the long and the back so it's the rebellious streak at the back and the kind of rugged dependability on top absolutely it combines the two hence mel gibson's character in lethal weapon perfect example of the bulleted action hero a bit curly as well curly's it? good yeah but as long as, as long as you've got that 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 Diametric going on, short on top, long at the back. So nothing gets in your way, but you're still a badass. 